What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Cowboys Corner. The Dallas Cowboys have concluded the NFL draft. And I'm not going to bug you with NFL draft grades. It's not what I do. Um, overall, I give them what the positions they drafted, the needs, things of that sort. Um, uh, overall grade, I'll give them an A, an A minus, something like that. Um, I think it's better than a B. But individual grades, absolutely not. Not going to do that. But one position that the Dallas Cowboys didn't address was running back. And what's going to happen with Ezekiel Elliott? Um, he's $11.8 million on the cap right now in dead money if we were to cut Zeke today. Uh, Post-June 1, pre-June 1, none of that helps the Cowboys and Ezekiel Elliott. You know, there's they can restructure the contract. They can do all that. But running backs in the National Football League, they don't last as long. Um, and Zeke, is he wearing down? Um, you know, Cowboys, I really thought going into this draft, they would address running back position. Tony Pollard is in a contract year. Hardy, he has a lot. He has a lot to learn. I highly doubt he'll become a number one running back in the National Football League. Um, and uh, there's a big question mark for running back. Yes, Tony Pollard, we got him for one more year. Yes, we know we got Zeke for at least one more year. But, um, you know, the Cowboys are addressing the offensive line. So will that help the running back position? And I think we're going to see a better Zeke now in this year than we have in the past few years. And the reason why I say that is because Zeke knows that if he's a pre-June 1 or a post-June 1 cut next year, Cowboys save $10.9 million on the cap. So Zeke has to put on a show. It's quote-unquote contract year. And we know how good players do for the Dallas Cowboys under a contract year. And so we're going to see a, a version of Zeke that we haven't seen in a few years. And that's only going to benefit the Dallas Cowboys in this offense. It's going to benefit the defense. It's going to keep them off the field. It's going to give him fresh air because Zeke has to put on a show for other teams because he wants to cash in another bag. Take Lawrence. He took a pay cut uh, to stay with the Cowboys. Two different positions. There's some more longevity as an end versus a running back. And I don't think it's necessary for Zeke to get a restructure or a pay cut. If the Cowboys want to post June, designate him post one next year offseason, they they could they have every bit of opportunity to do so. But the Dallas Cowboys gotta figure out a way to replace the pass blocking, the chipping, the greediness, right? I love Zeke, but his body's wearing down. And it's just not looking good. But like I said, we're gonna see a better version of Ezekiel Elliott this year than we have in the past few years because he's under a quote-unquote contract here because that designation of a post-June 1 cut for the Cowboys is saying $10.9 million. Cowboy Nation, are you in the Cowboys' corner? Peace.